Welcome to today's video on the Smartsheet Index Match Formula. So today I'm going to be showing you what it is and why you might want to use it and giving you an example of how to build one from scratch. So first and foremost, if you're not familiar with index matches, essentially it's a, it's a nested formula. So we, what we're doing is we're combining the index formula and the match formula. And it essentially works as an advanced VLOOKUP. And it enables you to perform a basically a two-way lookup, looking both across rows and columns at the same time. So it is considered a superior version of a VLOOKUP and it is something you may want to use. You can use it both within a single sheet, as I'm going to show you now, or you can do it cross sheet as well. So, and I'll also be showing you that, so do stick around for that as well. So I'm going to show you how to build it. Let's just get rid of this here. We've got a very simple data set you'll notice that it kind of doesn't make much sense really if you're looking closely. But what I'm just trying to do here is to illustrate how the formula works and how you can use it in your own uh, Smartsheet account and across your different data, data um, sets. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you an example of how to build one. And in my example, we're basically trying to look at what project managers are working on what different project. So I'm going to use Jason as an example. I'm going to use Stephanie and I'm going to use Bruce. So let's start. I've already mentioned it's a nested formula. So we do need to put the match formula within um, the index formula. It sounds a little bit tricky. It isn't too bad. And let's show you now how to do it. So equals as you would at the start of any formula. And then we're typing index. This is the main formula that we're working from. So equals index, open brackets. So the range is essentially the area we want to look in. So in this example, we want to look in the project name because we're trying to return the project that each project manager is working on comma. Now we match. Now we're typing match because we want to create the match part of this nested formula. So match, open brackets. Now the search value. So, you know, where, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for Jason in this example. So I'm going to left click on that cell, comma. Now the range. So, you know, what are we looking for? Well, or, or you know, the table we're looking from. So this is going to be the project manager. So as you can see, I've left clicked at the top and dragged all the way down. Now, all we need to do is put a comma and then zero because, you know, um, it's, it's, it's optional. It's an optional field. Always put comma zero. You don't really need to know why. Just just do it as you as, as you would expect with a VLOOKUP. It's just one of those things that like when you type false, for instance, close bracket, hit enter. And you'll see now that this formula has matched J, um, JSON to implementation C. If we drag this down, it will do the same for the other project managers. So for Stephanie, implement, implementation E has been brought in. And for Bruce, we have implementation G, as you can see in the data set up above. So this is the example of the formula within a sheet. But as I mentioned previously, you can use this formula to bring in data from other sheets. And that's also known as cross-referencing. So what I've done here is I've done the same thing. So I've, I've created a copy. We've got the project managers in here, but we've got, you know, empty data here. So let's say I want to bring in the project name into this formula, into this column. So it works in very much the same way, but you have to do a few little things differently. So equals index, open bracket, so starts the same, but here you need to reference another sheet. So click that link and in, to, for simplicity's sake, I've only got one other sheet in my account at the moment, so I can easily find it. Otherwise, you need to be mindful of what you've called your sheets um, and you need to find the source sheet. So the source sheet will be where the data is held. So you can see this is what I've just been working from. So here, the area we want to look in. So again, this is going to be the project name. And you might want to give your your reference, you know, give a reference. So that we're going to call this Smart Sheet Index Match Formula project name. And you'll see that this gets pulled into the formula in a minute. And it's just useful for understanding, you know, what you're what you're working in and, and what you're specifying. So I've selected all of those cells, left clicked and dragged down, click insert reference, comma, match. 
Now we want to match uh, open, uh, sorry, open bracket. We want to match Clara this time, comma. Now for the range, we need to reference that sheet again. So click the reference another sheet. Now we're looking in the project manager field again, select that all the way down. You may want to change this to project manager or in this example, or we'll just specify the column name. Insert reference. Make sure that your, so my cursor was a little bit out of the way there. Comma, zero, enter. And as you'll see, implementation A has been brought in for Clara. And if we were to refer back to the original, obviously you could drag that down if you wanted that to apply for all of them. If I go back to the original sheet, we should find that Clara is working on implementation A, and she is. So that is the Smartsheet Index Match Formula in a nutshell and how to set them up. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do hit the like button and do consider subscribing to my channel. Maybe even head over there because I've got a lot of different Smartsheet training videos. I think I've got over 35 at the moment and, and counting. So if you want to learn more about Smartsheet, then head over to my channel and go through my various videos. And with that said, I hope you have an excellent day.